Um, yeah, uh, let's have a look at how you can export SCORM packages, uh, H5P packages to SCORM. So, um, if, for example, if you have a platform that can't run H5P natively, you may, it can run SCORM. Um, then you want to have a SCORM package. But H5P unfortunately can't export the SCORM directly. But there is a tool called Lumi that you can get at lumi.education. And we can have a look at that now. So uh, <laughs> I'm showing my screen now so you can see what I'm doing. So uh, yeah, we've used that before. And I click on that little button here, which will open Lumi. So um, yeah, if you don't know Lumi, there is a, a video on YouTube where I explain what that is. And uh, I show some uh, things that you could do with it, but basically it is an, an offline editor for H5P content that you can install on Windows or Mac OS or, as in my case, on Linux. So let's go to full screen maybe. Uh, so you can do all kinds of stuff with it, and I'm just going to demonstrate uh, the editor first because, of course, we need some H5P content, and I'm lazy. I'm not going to create a new one. I'm just, um, I'll open uh, what I just, um, uh, I, I download before. So um, you see, I'm on my desktop now. It says example content sort paragraphs, which is just the demo content of sort of the paragraphs from the hfp.org page. And yeah, I'll, I loaded it. You see, this is a normal hfp editor, as you probably know it. And um, yeah, it shows the editor of sort of paragraphs, and we can view the content as well. Um, so here it is. And uh, yeah, demo content. Um, yeah, I tried that when, when I when it was released because I didn't create the demo content. I just created the content type, and <laughs> I got it wrong because uh, first of, I knew first I would get up, and um, next I get dressed would be the correct answer. But I guess I had afterwards I brush my teeth and uh, I don't know maybe and I, maybe I would get dressed before I go to school. But <laughs> uh, yeah, my answer was wrong, and so everything is wrong now. But this is not the point. This is just sort the paragraphs. Now, let's say you are running some, I don't know, um, corporate learning management uh, platform. Um, they often support SCORM. SCORM is a pretty old standard, but it's still around. And uh, maybe you can run HFP natively. You can create it on that platform and you, you can't embed for um, security reasons, maybe. So uh, with Lumi, you can uh, just load the content that you want to use, like here, or you can create it here. And then up here, you can click on File and on Export. Um, so first of all, you could choose to export to HTML. Um, yeah, I demonstrated that in the other, other video. And uh, But now I'll choose SCORM package, and I could now set the mastery score. So this would be like a score. Um, when, when you exceed that score, then it's considered to be mastered. Um, and I'll leave that with 70 for now. And I just click on export now and I can choose where to put it and I'll put it on my desktop. And uh, yeah, I had to run before, so I'll just overwrite that scorm.zip file um, and I gonna click on export. And yes, I want to replace that. So now it is working. It takes uh, some time because it basically exports H5P, the H5P content to HTML and wraps it in that scorm wrapper. And now it is done. And now I have that scorm.zip file on my desktop. So, um, how can I view that? Um, we need a platform that can support SCORM. So, um, I have a local Moodle installed here, and let's start here maybe. It's like a regular Moodle 3.11, and I have a test course, so I can go to my, my test course. And you see I'm already in editing mode because I've used it before. And um, now let's try um, if that Moodle instance can run that SCORM package. So. Um, I'll just add an activity and you should see SCORM package down here or maybe not down there, but uh, you'll, you'll find it. And I choose SCORM package. So I have to give it a title. Let's call it SCORM for now. And yeah, usual Moodle stuff, you can add the description. And now here you could, could add the file. So um, if I just choose the file that I just put on my desktop, that SCORM.zip file. And if I then upload it, I see that is working, that is nice. And now you could could uh, change all these uh, fancy SCORM uh, options that you have in Moodle, like the appearance, should it be in the current window, should it pop up in a new window, stuff like that. And uh, I'll leave it uh, with the default settings and I'll click on save and display. And now, ta-da, I have to choose because I'm the editor. Do I want to preview it or 
go you uh, one of you in normal mode and I'll click on enter because I'll just use normal mode and here it is. So uh, this is just added by Moodle, so we can hide that. But here is the um, H5P content that is not has not been created in um, in Moodle and has not been it's it's not really an H5P package for now. It is a SCORM package and it is running. So that is how you can um, export H5P content to SCORM and run it on some platform that doesn't support H5P natively, which is kind of a nice thing. So looking at the chat. No problems, great. <laughs> okay, I hope I don't forget to... No, I just won't switch back to my camera. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, well, um, not a big thing. Um, um, I, I'm not an expert in, in SCORM, but I know I know that many people uh, still use it, especially in corporate contexts. So it is a good thing that you can export HIV content to SCORM and still use it. You, I, mean, I mean, you can... Or can hardly change it afterwards, so be sure to um, to have made no mistake when creating the content. Um, yeah, but that is how it works. <laughs>